Hi guys, I'm back. Do you know what? I've finished work and I thought, I'm chilling on my bed watching a bit of YouTube as you do. And I thought it would actually be quite cool to do like a little mini fashion show. <laughs> I've got a really lovely kimono collection. I love kimonos and it's not the traditional Japanese kimonos it's um, more like um maybe western inspired or just like maybe kimonos with a modern twist and i really really like wearing them i like wearing them around the house and sometimes just putting on like yoga pants and just a nice simple top like a vest top or a cami top and then just putting it over whether it's winter or summer i just think they're so easy to wear and i thought i'd do a little mini fashion show just for fun <laughs> Also recently I put up some new door hooks. I think they're really cool. And I actually dress my kimonos over them. Yeah, so yeah, I think it would be really fun to share my kimono collection with you. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. Well, I am a five foot eight, but I'm shrinking apparently. Yeah. When I went to the nurse last year to get an overall health check once you get to 40 they're like you need to come to the doctors you need to come to the doctors you need a health check apparently i'm like five foot seven and shrinking so anyway the reason why i'm mentioning my height is i mean i'm kind of like average height okay and kimonos really are quite nice for average height or if you're a tall girl they just give you a nice graceful look and you can get shorter kimonos as well. Um, they just kind of have like a nice flair to them. So let me show you my collection. Oh, I love this one. I absolutely love anything polka dot. <laughs> so I'm wearing like a, just a basic cami top and yoga pants, leggings. And I just like, you know, if it's springtime or you can wear like black jeans or you know like the the leather look jeans as well and you don't really need much accessories what you can do is you can just kind of have like bracelets and stuff like that but i mean i've got the big hair i wear my makeup sometimes i match my makeup to the kimono it just depends i just think it's just got such a lovely flair to it and i've got some shoes here these are my vivian westwood Melissa's they just make me so happy they are so comfortable to wear it's so fun dressing up isn't it you know what I grew up with women who actually made their own clothes my mother used to make her clothes and she used to make my clothes as much as I thought it was like so not me when I look back I respect that so much she also made clothes for my daughter but she has so much class she could just put anything together she can go to the market and she could like buy a few meters of fabric and she would just get her singer sewing machine and just whiz up an outfit by the evening oh so i've got a lot of height now i don't know if you'll get to see the shoes but you get to see the shoes let me show you yeah so these are the shoes with the kimono it's so easy to wear you know like I said, you can just wear maybe a watch or a bracelet. You've got your earrings, your hair. It's such an easy, sassy outfit. I love rocking these shades with this look, you know? It's just fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just fun. It's sassy, it's cool, it's youthful. It's just like, what's up? <laughs> okay, so that's kimono number one. Number two, I'm gonna wear this, keep the shoes on. Let's switch it up. Oh, one of my favorite, favorite colors is magenta. Kimonos are really good to wear at the beach. If you're going to a pool party, for lounging, but I live in London and there is no beach here and I'm not waiting until I go on the holiday to wear it. Now, this is how you tie a kimono. 
the belt is at the front and it gives you a waist and I don't have much of a waist because I really really pigged out at Christmas <laughs> so I need to build my waist back so this kind of gives you an illusion of a smaller waist so never put the the belt at the back yeah it should tuck in like that this is quite sheer I don't know if you can see my panties this one is quite sheer but yeah so you know you just drop it like this is really good for festivals that? that's really pretty just wear it with like a bandeau top you've got your heels oh yeah If I've, if I've dropped it right, I don't think that's right actually. Let me fix it. It feels a bit too. Oh, that's better. Is it? What have I done? Start there. Yeah. So I just tie it at the front. I love how the arms are so drapey this would be so good for a wedding you know if you're a guest at a wedding this is a really nice out if you can't think of anything to wear and you're thinking of like how can you just like glam up a look kimonos are your friend show you a better angle Yeah, I like this one you know sassy it's pink looks pink and black looks so good together this is really good loungewear especially if you're having a sexy hotel night stay amazing kimonos at TK Maxx I went to TK Maxx to get one thing and it wasn't clothing related but as I was going up the stairs I saw this kimono and there were so many styles and there were so many different ones and I thought no I really really love that kimono but that's not what I came in for so I went upstairs and what I was looking for, I don't even remember what it was now. It just wasn't there. And I thought, you know what? There's this painting that I absolutely loved. And it was this woman with a beautiful kimono. At the time, I was getting into this Korean drama called Heaven's Garden, which I love. Still haven't finished the series. Don't want the series to end. Because I absolutely love the characters and everything. And... Oh, if it's removed from Netflix, I don't know where I'm going to find this show, but I love it. Anyway, I was just so captivated by Asian textile and the culture of dress and the fine detail and art that is put into fabrics. And like I said, this is not a classic kimono, but, you know, it's definitely Asian inspired and I just absolutely love wearing art that's what i feel like i'm wearing when i wear this kimono i feel like i'm wearing an art piece and i wear it in the spring in the summertime i've worn it to private functions birthday parties and i don't i don't mind being known as the lady with the peacock kimono <laughs> i don't mind this being my signature piece you know it makes me happy i love this kimono so glad that what I went into store that day was out of stock because I would not have bought this. And let me tell you something, true story, I went back to get another one because if I love something, I normally get two. And it was sold out. And that was literally the next week. So this is my birthday kimono. <laughs> my heaven's garden kimono. Sometimes I switch up my look when I'm wearing a kimono as well. You know, and I just wear like a head tie. Oh yeah. And then... Let's put on some snazzy glasses. 
I love sunglasses. Do you know what? I never used to wear sunglasses because I never had the confidence. But I would say, you know what? If you're a shy person, yeah, and you want to look snazzy, put on your sunshades, man. I tell you, the world always looks better with rose-tinted glasses. <laughs> You know what, we're taught, you know what, we are taught that every woman should have a sexy black dress and that could be true but what I believe that every woman should have is a tall sexy kimono or a short one. <laughs> I think kimonos just really are an accessory to a fashion look. This black kimono just makes me feel really, really sexy. Let me just loop it. Kimonos are really good if you are having a beach holiday and you have maybe insecurities about your body. Um, maybe you're covering stretch marks or scars scarrings or maybe you're covering your pregnancy maybe you want to be more discreet about your pregnancy or you just want to be discreet and protective of your femininity so it can cover insecurities and it can also shield and protect your femininity and i think that is really sexy when a woman is more hidden now i know i have bosom and i love my bosoms <laughs> okay i will never change that and if you got them flaunt them <laughs> but also I've always been a woman who covers my legs and my arms and I just feel like you don't have to have it all on show sometimes it's just too much right but yeah this is one of my favorites and it looks so sexy with the heels Do you know what? Let me put on the wedges with this. This looks really hot with wedges. These wedges are hot. These are one of my favourite wedges. They are so hot. Nice and sparkly. And do you know what? They are so comfortable. If you've never worn wedges before, give them a try. They're nothing like wearing high heels. Obviously, they give you height. But they don't have that discomfort that high heels have. Yeah, so here's the wedges. So here it is with the wedges. Just really cute. It's such a comfortable, glamorous look. I feel really tall and elegant, you know? And it's just like it's such a nice party look. You can just imagine going to a garden party, rooftop party, you know? I just think it suits all occasions. Seriously, it's so cool. And I love that it's floor length as well. If I'm visiting art galleries or going out for dinner, then I wear my Hub and Culture glasses. I think they're really cool with a smoky eye, you know, lots of lashes, a hot colour lippy, and you got to rock your fan. You know what I mean? Rock your fan, Miss Shanti style. Oh yeah. Miss Shanti's a designer who sells these fans. You can get them from Ghana, but I get them from Hub and Culture. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? My fashion wardrobe has to have kimonos. I'm telling you, they are fun. Yeah, these are cool too. You know? <laughs> jazz up your look, guys. Seriously. It's, it's so easy to jazz up your look, guys. Yeah, spring is coming. You know you want to wear something really light and cool and sassy. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this one. This is the hot pants kimono. <laughs> this is not my, my super nice kimono. No, this is the one I call my butterfly hot pants kimono. Oh my goodness. I need to look in the mirror to fix this one up. This, this would be so sexy at carnival. But I've ruined it. I remember I was painting my bedroom and 
I didn't put my things away properly and I managed to get paint on it. I think I can take it off. I haven't taken the time to find out if the white spirit will remove the paint. There's paint on it. And I think it's somewhere else. But this is really ethereal. It reminds me of a butterfly. <laughs> now, like I said, I wouldn't wear it with leggings, okay? This is, you gotta have confidence, you know, you bronze up your legs and you wear your heels or you wear your sandals, maybe gladiator sandal sandals. Now, I would wear a bandeau top, you know, strapless bra, black hot pants because it is very see-through, you know, and yeah, rock it, you know? But it's very, <laughs> it's very, very butterfly-like and I just think it's really pretty. It's very feminine and um, wispy. I like this one. It looks really, really good with the wedges, actually. I don't know if it looks good with the, the leggings. No. Maybe for carnival. This is definitely holiday fun vibes, you know? <laughs> it's so fun to have friends that I can share my kimono collection with. It's so fun. <laughs> This one's a bit tricky to take off. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Let me change my shoes. I'm gonna change them into these shoes. I just got these shoes recently from ASOS and I paid eight pounds for them. A massive sale. And I just think they're really unusual, <laughs> really fun. Such a hot pink velvet color. kimono is the only kimono that I have that doesn't have a belt which is really nice it's very casual so if you don't want a belt you don't need to use one but I just think it's really graceful really graceful it's so nice with the shoes I don't know if I can tilt the camera for you to see the shoes a bit more really long arms <laughs> and it's so nice to wear an outfit that doesn't make me feel like I have long arms it feels so light it's really beautiful to wear now this isn't a kimono this is a jumpsuit but it has that same kind of graceful feeling it's floor length I'm gonna put it on to wear with my final kimono. <laughs> it's so fun to dress up and be a girl. <laughs> I love it. I just changed my lippy to make it more pink. Do you know what? I don't know, am I the only one who likes to leave their labels on clothes? Um, until I have to wash it, it's staying on there. I don't know why. I don't know why I do it, but I love it. So yeah, I really love this jumpsuit. It's so fun to wear. This is really good beach wear. Um, so what I would wear with it, So I'm thinking to wear my latest, my newest kimono. Oh, this kimono is oh, off the flipping chain. I love it. And I like the tie. The way that they've weaved this tie in is so beautiful. This kimono is slightly big for me, but they only had one size and I was not going to let it go because it was in the sale. So I'm gonna wear it with the pink shoes. Pink shoes. This beautiful kind of like jade finished jumpsuit. It's so colorful, so much detail. Like really like 3D detail great embroidery and it's floor length it's just so fun
yeah this is just so fun to me you know kimonos in my opinion are so fun it's just a nice pop of color they look so graceful and they can be so discreet and so sexy at the same time so if you've never worn a kimono give it a try and if you wear them please share that with me because i feel like i'm the only person that wears kimonos when i go out so what should i wear guys this is my lovely fragrance closet that i've introduced to you before hmm what to wear, what to wear. Well, I have to say I'm loving this fragrance at the moment. This is Bulgari Rose Goldea Blossom Delight. It's so pretty as well. Um, let's give it a try. It smells so, so good. And, well, Valentine's is coming. What about... Agent Provocateur, Fatal Intense. This is really sexy, I can't wait to talk about this more. I have a very special Valentine's video where I'll be sharing this in more detail. This is so sexy to me. Air of Style by MAC. Really lovely white florals, especially tuberose very pretty hmm do you want to smell like a big fat juicy floral strawberry I have no idea how to pronounce this now the pronunciation of this I have no idea what is this BCBG Maxazria, Maxazria, or what about? I just call this BCB <laughs> just to keep it short. BCBG Maxazria. For those of you who love a juicy, sweet candied rose, this is a rose extase sensuel. It is a really long lasting, beautiful candied rose by Nina Ricci. Oh, this is gorgeous. Forever and Ever by Dior. This is almost like a fragrance whispering floral and kind of herbal notes. It's really pretty. Gotta love Chloe, right? <laughs> oh, fun loving Daisy O Fresh. I absolutely love Stella McCartney Easy EP. This is really good. Stella McCartney EDP. This is such a good fragrance, really beautiful rose and very long lasting. Put a bit on. Oh, so good. <laughs> Thanks for watching my little kimono fashion show. It was really fun. I've actually always wanted to do that. <laughs> anyway. Some mooches and see you soon. Lots in store, guys. So much more to share with you.